Have you ever stopped to think about how much selling is a part of our daily lives? From persuading your boss to support a new project, to convincing your child to eat their vegetables, we are all salespeople in some way or another. But what makes someone good at selling? What are the secrets to successful persuasion? Welcome to our book review of To Sell is Human by Daniel Pink. In To Sell is Human, Daniel Pink explores the art and science of selling and shows that the traditional definition of selling is far from accurate. As someone who has always struggled with the idea of selling, this book was a game changer for me. It showed me that selling is not just about pushing products or services onto others, but rather about understanding the needs and wants of others and finding mutually beneficial solutions. This book is a must-read for anyone who wants to improve their ability to sell, whether it's for their personal or professional life. Whether you're a seasoned sales professional or someone who wants to improve their negotiation skills, this book offers valuable insights and strategies that can help you become a more effective seller. So sit back, relax, and join us on a journey as we dive into To Sell is Human and discover the secrets to successful persuasion. 1. Understanding different selling styles. When it comes to selling, it is crucial to understand the different styles and when to use them. Each style has its own strengths and weaknesses, and it is essential to choose the right style for the situation and customer. The three main selling styles include the challenger, the relationship builder, and the reactive problem solver. The challenger is a confident, assertive selling style that is effective when the customer is knowledgeable and well-informed. The challenger uses facts and data to persuade the customer and is often used in B2B sales. The relationship builder is a more personal and empathetic style, focused on building a rapport with the customer. This style is particularly effective when the customer is not well informed or is looking for a more personal connection. The reactive problem solver is a flexible selling style, adapting to the customer's needs and concerns. This style is often used when the customer is in the early stages of the buying process and the seller is trying to understand their needs. 2. Know your customer. Getting to know your customer is a critical part of being an effective seller. The more you know about your customer, the better you can tailor your selling style to their needs and preferences. Take the time to understand their buying process, their pain points, and what they are looking for in a solution. For example, if you are selling to a small business owner, you may want to focus on the financial benefits of your product or service. If you are selling to a busy professional, you may want to focus on the time-saving benefits. By understanding your customer, you can present your solution in a way that resonates with them and makes it more compelling. 3. Focus on the customer's needs. Your goal as a seller should always be to help your customer solve their problem or meet their need. Focus on the customer's needs, and you will be more successful in making a sale. To do this, you need to understand their pain points and what they are looking for in a solution. For example, if a customer is looking for a way to increase productivity in their business, you could highlight the ways that your product or service can help them achieve this goal. By focusing on the customer's needs, you can create a solution that is tailored to their specific requirements and increase the chances of making a sale. 4. Use empathy to connect with the customer. Empathy is the ability to understand and share the feelings of others. By using empathy, you can connect with your customer on a deeper level and build a stronger relationship. Empathy can be as simple as acknowledging their concerns and being attentive to their needs. For example, if a customer is worried about the cost of your product, you could acknowledge their concern and offer them a solution that addresses their budget. By using empathy, you can build a more personal connection with your customer and increase the chances of making a sale. 5. Ask questions to understand the customer's needs. Asking questions is an essential part of understanding the customer's needs. By asking questions, 
you can gain a deeper understanding of their pain points, preferences, and buying process. The more you know about your customer, the easier it will be to tailor your selling style to their needs. For example, if a customer is looking for a way to increase their sales, you could ask them about their current sales process, their target market, and what they have tried so far. This information can help you tailor your solution to their specific needs and increase the chances of making a sale. 6. Use storytelling to make a connection. Storytelling is a powerful tool for making a connection with your customer. It allows you to share your own experiences and relate to your customer on a deeper level. By using storytelling, you can help your customer see how your product or service can help them solve their problem or meet their need. For example, imagine that you are a salesperson for a home security company. You can use storytelling to share a personal experience with home security, such as a time when your own home was broken into. This personal story can help your customer understand the importance of home security and see how your product can help protect their own home and family. Additionally, you can use storytelling to share case studies or success stories of other customers who have used your product or service. This helps to build credibility and show the effectiveness of your product or service. By using storytelling, you can make a stronger connection with your customer and help them see the value in what you have to offer. 7. Be persistent, but not pushy. In sales, persistence is key, but it is also important to avoid being pushy. While it is important to follow up with your customer, it is equally important to respect their boundaries and decision-making process. When following up, ask questions to see if they are ready to make a purchase or if there is anything else you can help with. If they say they are not interested, accept it gracefully and move on. Don't continue to hound them or push them to make a decision. This can come across as aggressive and push them further away. Instead, be persistent but respectful and keep in touch with them to build a long-term relationship. For example, imagine you are selling a new product to a potential customer. You reach out to them and they express interest but are not yet ready to make a purchase. Instead of bombarding them with emails and calls, take the time to follow up with them periodically to see if they have any new questions or concerns. If they are still not ready to make a purchase, accept it gracefully and move on. By being persistent but not pushy, you build trust and respect with your customer and increase the chances of them making a purchase in the future. 8. Offer value. Offering value to your customer is an important part of being an effective seller. This can be done by sharing information and insights about your product or service. This helps to build trust and establishes you as an expert in your field. When your customer sees the value in what you have to offer, they are more likely to make a purchase. For example, imagine you are selling a new software program to a potential customer. Instead of just trying to sell the software, take the time to educate them on the benefits and how it can solve their problem. Offer a demo or a trial to show them how the software works and how it can be of value to them. By offering value, you are not only building trust with your customer, but you are also increasing the chances of making a sale. 9. Follow up and build relationships. Following up with your customer is an important part of building relationships. Take the time to follow up with your customer after a sale, or just to check in and see how they are doing. This helps to build a long-term relationship and increases the chances of repeat business. For example, imagine you have just sold a product to a customer. Instead of just moving on to the next sale, take the time to follow up with them and see how they are enjoying the product. Offer support if they have any questions or concerns. By following up and building relationships, you are not only providing excellent customer service, but you are also increasing the chances of repeat business. 10. Always be prepared. In sales, 
it is important to always be prepared. This means being knowledgeable about your product or service, knowing your customer, and having a plan for your sales pitch. Being prepared can help you feel confident and increase your chances of success. For example, imagine you are meeting with a potential customer to discuss a new product. Before the meeting, make sure you have done your research on the customer, their needs and their buying process. Have a plan for how you will present the product and be prepared to answer any questions they may have. By being prepared, you are increasing your chances of making a sale and building a strong relationship with your customer. Thank you for watching our video on To Sell Is Human by Daniel H. Pink. We hope that you found the information shared in the video to be helpful and that you feel more confident in your ability to sell and communicate effectively. Remember, the strategies and techniques outlined in the book can be applied to a variety of situations and can help you achieve your goals and succeed in your sales career. To Sell is Human is a valuable resource for anyone looking to improve their selling and communication skills, so if you're ready to take your sales game to the next level, give this book a read. We hope you found this video to be helpful and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Thanks for watching.